Hey guys, what's up? Tim Avery here with Visual Testaments. I just wanted to hop on here because I just felt it hard, hard and heavy on my heart just to make this video because it's something I had to say with a group that I've had uh, about music and the influence it has uh, on us. Um, because a certain group that I've been taking around, you know, the kids are playing music on the bus, which I don't really care for if they're playing music and all that stuff. But then, then I've kind of got those cringe moments when the certain type of music that they're listening to just you know, just, just, just puts this check in your spirit, the things that they're listening to, um, especially as a father, especially as a husband, you know, there's things that you, you wouldn't let your kids listen to and you sure as hard as heck wouldn't want your family listening to. Anyways, uh, I just, I just want to say this real quick. We all know that music has influence. It, 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 it demands a response for our spiritually, emotionally, mentally, you know, music demands a response. Um, it has an influence on us. You know, that's that's why we select certain types of music um, when we work out. You know, there's certain music that we want to listen to. It gets us all hyped up, gets us all uh, pumped up and ready to tear the gym down, you know, because we want that certain type of music. Um, and then there's music that we want that just helps us relax. It puts us in a mood. It it just uh, allows us to go to sleep sometimes, you know, we listen to a certain type of music. Uh, and then there's music that we listen to when we worship. You know, there's there's things that we it helps us remind us of of things that you know God has done in our life or carried us through. And when we hear certain songs or music, it, it puts us in that emotional state of mind, knowing that God's always going to pull through and help us in certain situations. And we know that God's got that right. And then there's also some type of music that if you if you put that into perspective, that music has influence. That there's certain types of music with their lyrics that is indoctrinating ourselves and our mindsets to, to wash our brain, this is another way of saying being brainwashed, but to wash our brain to think uh, of the choices that we're making in our lives, especially if we have um, music that we're listening to that to promotes sex, that promotes violence, that promotes rage, that promotes, promotes anger, you know, uh, promiscuity, things like that, you know, or depict what a relationship should be, you know, it, these are all ways that the world tries to influence or indoctrinate our minds to think that this is a normal thing. Um, you know, uh, like some of the songs that these kids were listening to are all about sex. And I, I've got kids that are high school age. I mean, they're from, I don't know, 14 to 18. I have no idea what sex is. They don't know what in intimacy is. And I didn't know, especially at that age. And it took me a long time to understand the difference between sex and intimacy, what I really want in a relationship. But for this this world to create songs and lyrics to make us think that that sex is all about just a romantic environment like sex by the fire, you know, sex by the beach or um, champagne on ice. And, you know, that's what I like. I'll, I'll give you diamonds and rings. I'll bring you shopping sprees and all this other stuff. And that's that's not what intimacy is about. It's that's not that's not what a relationship is about at all. And all you husband and wives, you know that, you know, we, we want to be loved and accepted and and and, um, and we want the, our spouse to be the only one that's devoted to us. You know, we want exclusivity. We want to be um, the only one that our, our spouses look at um, and are, are the only ones our spouses love and adore and appreciate. Um, and we want to be able to expose ourselves to our to our spouse to let them know that they are the only ones that has our heart or has our mind, you know, and it's not about the material things that come along with that. It's, it's not about shopping sprees. It's not about material things that you know, that sex should buy, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, but these types of songs and lyrics are being sung to our kids. And, and I had this conversation with these kids today about saying like, look, you know, music has influence. And the things that we put in our mind and our thought and our, uh, the songs and lyrics that we're, uh, that we are meditating on, uh, so much so that we, we memorize these words and lyrics. The point is, is that when we put ourselves in those situations, um, that our mind thinks that these things are okay. Cultural wants us. Culture wants us to think that, you know, sex outside of marriage is a normal thing, and it's not. You know, it it, it often leads to heartbreak, shame, fear, guilt, um, rejection, especially if you're having sex out of marriage. And that's all that per person wanted was just sex. You know, and and that's it. And that just leaves you with a broken heart. Uh, and that's not what you wanted. You wanted somebody who truly loved you and accepted you and wanted you uh, despite of all your faults or whatever that is. And so to be truly known and to, to be truly, ex to be fully known and fully accepted is what we all yearn to have. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You want to be truly accepted and truly loved, um, fully accepted, fully known and fully loved. And so, but when these songs and lyrics are promoting anything but that, 
and it's just about a, a life of just sex and and money and fame and, and none of that stuff is is real none of that stuff is real and, and that's why some of these uh, rap stars and some of these artists who struggle with their lifestyle look at their lives you know they have all these rich and uh, all these riches and all this fame and they still yet they're lonely and still yet they're they're wanting to kill themselves some of them have killed themselves because they didn't understand what love is they don't understand what sex is um, but I just wanted to come on here and just share with you guys that real quick just you know just be mindful of the things you're listening to because it does have an influence whether you think it does or it doesn't you know um, and speaking to all the Christians out there you know the music that you're listening to is not the things that you should be listening to so be selective because it does have influence it demands a response in our heart and our mind if we're washing our brain with these types of lyrics in our mind and we put ourselves in situations where what is cultural saying and what does the word say you know should we be living a life of promiscuity or should we be living a life of purity and so um, i just wanted to come on here and say that so you know share this like hit subscribe if you want to that's fine but more so i want you guys to think about the things we're listening to and the younger people who are watching this you know we have a we have a decision and choice to make on how we how we allow the culture in, to influence our minds uh, and, and what's and what they're saying is it okay and what's not okay um, and what they're trying to push is what's normal and what's not normal you guys are all bright young uh, impressionable kids and, and young adults and young ladies who are listening to this you get to decide if that if that song or lyric is not checking in your spirit is something good then you know it's not good all right bless you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now